just got a phone call from my good friend Jeremy Griffith who has been talking to a guy called Hans who directed the Looking for Erdnays film and it's premiering in Frankfurt, Germany on the 4th of July. It's now the 29th of June. I'm on the guest list. The question is, do I do it? Five twenty-five a.m. I was up at three a.m. with the baby. The airport's four hours away. It's gonna be a premiere in Germany. The premiere starts at seven p.m. One hour time difference. And I booked the wrong airport. We fly into an airport which is two and a half hours away from Germany city centre, Frankfurt city centre. Correct. The correct airport was fourteen minutes away. <laughs> This is why I should have booked everything. You told me they were the same airport, just different terminals. So you can't, you can't get out of this one. So we're leaving at stupid o'clock in the morning. Four hours to the airport here. There's a petrol or something strike on. Then we have an hour and a half flight. Two and a half hours to get from the airport to Frankfurt City Centre. And then we have like 30 minutes. If it all goes perfectly with no delay, we have 30 minutes of shower change and get to the premiere. I may be wearing this to the premiere. I might genuinely be wearing this. I'm gonna stink. <laughs> this is a mission impossible. I'll do it. It's fine. It's a mission improbable. We'll do it. It's a, the theme tune be. Mission tight squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's get to this bridge. We made it to the Longstay car park, Yay. but we missed the park and ride transfer bus. So we're just sitting here. Listen to the birds. Half an hour. Good job, we're not in a rush. I am suited and booted. <laughs> I thought it would be interesting to show you exactly what magic I'm taking to this event. So first up, I have with me some rubber bands. Love rubber bands. It's good, especially if you're going to do an event like this, because if you're going to do crazy man's handcuffs, I only ever do it on the spectators, never on my hands. All the focus is up top. So I wear rubber bands, and that's if people are going to take photos or it's social media stuff. It's going to frame all your face and everything instead of being down at your crotch, which is not the best thing in the world. Obviously, a deck of cards. So I have a deck of cards, and they're in stack, ready to go, so I can just start busting out some card effect. I also have with me Lux on my keys, and I've pre-drawn a UV cross on my arm, so I can perform Lux anytime, anywhere. And last but not least, since it is the premiere for Looking for Erdnays, and it's talking about the world's best card shop, or, you know, mystical phantom card shop, I've got a Dex on me. So at any moment, at any point during the night, if anyone talks about card slights, card sharps, gambling, anything to do with Erdnays, I'm, I could easily sway that conversation and say, you know, they say the best, uh, if you can, if you are good at gambling slights, you should be able to do anything. But they say one of the hardest feats in the world is just to have any card appear. Now, I'm not as good as Erdnays, so why we're here to watch the documentary on the man, the myth, the legend. But if I was, what card would you name? And as they name it, I'll be retrieving it from deck. So, for example, if they said, uh, like, the Eight of Diamonds, I would just, as they're chatting, I would take the Eight of Diamonds. I'd say it'd be incredible if I could do that. Um, of course, I'm not that good. Hopefully, I might be a little bit better. <laughs> That's my EDC for an event like this. I can perform for half an hour, maybe 45 minutes or more with a mem deck. I can then be shuffled with Lux, with rubber bands and a decks on me. Then I'll be borrowing coins, straws and bills. 
I can just go all evening doing this stuff. So I figured you guys would be interested in that. Let's jump to the red carpet. Maybe red carpet. Let's jump to the Premier League. <laughs> Into. <laughs> yeah. uh, water, what is good for you? Drink I call water. it H2O. So, so is wine. No, no. This is 2014. Uh, <laughs> it's 2014. Oh, yeah. It's the strong stuff. It's the, it's the stuff you drink when you know what you're drinking. Oh, everyone, meet Hans, the director of Looking for Erdnay. Hans, how are you feeling tonight? Uh, I'm excited. I, am, uh, I mean, I have the, seen the film like 300 times, but I'm, I'm excited People. to see how everybody else is going to react. Yeah. yeah, It's the first big event. Actually, it's the team premiere, so it's for casting crew members only. And you. <laughs> and don't, okay. don't even ask how I turned up. What's the film about? Uh, uh, it's about one of the most legendary books uh, in the, the world of heart magic. It's about the expert of the card table. And nowadays, uh, it's the Bible of every card magician. Yeah. And the most exciting thing about it, up until today, we don't know who works this. Up until today? Are we, are we so surprised? But well, I don't want to say anything more. <laughs> I am so excited. Is it going to be some familiar faces on screen? Definitely. We'll see Laura London. We'll see Richard Turner. We'll see Guy Hollingworth and, and many others. So. Okay, so this is, this, is, this is pretty much the... the the definitive work on film in the exploration of who is it is. Nothing has been done like this ever before. That, that's, that's true. I mean, uh, I, I researched for two years straight before actually starting to, to write the, the concept and everything. So in total, the production was over six years. And the first two years was only research. I met you back in South Korea, yeah. in FISM, in 2000... I would say... 18? 18, 18, 18, 19? 18. And back then, Hans handed me a business card and said... I am making the document, the documentary on who is her days. We're looking for her days. And I would love to talk to you more and meet up. And that was, well, that was four, at least four years ago. Yeah. So you put a lot of work into this. Yeah. And uh, well, in the beginning, obviously, nobody really took me seriously because I think a lot of people voiced this, that they wanted to shoot maybe something about it. And yeah. It's the story everyone wants to cover. Yeah. And for the first three years, it was only me at magic conventions with my camera. I, I always had like 35 kilograms backpack wow. carrying with me <laughs> because I needed to get to know all these people because how do you get to know Richard Turner if you want to have him as an interview partner, right? I mean, I, I didn't have his email, so I had to travel yeah. all those places to, to meet a couple of interview partners and to, to get to know the most interesting stories. And this is what I did for the first three years, and then I went from there. And I think that's the thing that you get from doing the groundwork that you did. You literally travel the world to, yeah. to research this movie. Yeah. And it's only when you speak to people like Richard Turner, I'm assuming, that you're going to get the stuff that isn't in the book. Yeah, you know, definitely. Stuff isn't written. Everything else you can read up online, but not what you get in the interviews and, and what people will tell you that have been a student of Ty Vernon, which Turner has been for many years. I'm so thankful and honoured that you invited us. Thank you. I'm, I'm so honoured that you could be here, honestly. On August 6th at uh, 10 a.m. PDT, we're going to have an exclusive online premiere. So you can tune in from everywhere, uh, from, from Brazil, from the States, from the UK, wow. wherever you're located. On, a, on what website? Uh, on our website. It's www.erdnays-film.com. And that's going to be on screen right now. And there will also be a QA. and a We'll see some behind-the-scenes footage. So if you're into that, please join us. Okay, thank you so much. I can't wait to see the film. It's going to start any minute. It's going to be amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on your channel. This is this is the European German episode of Fuller <laughs> with Kaylee. Kaylee, name a card. The Eight of Cups. Ah, that's my uh, seventh favorite. Yeah. Filming right now, and then I just take a little picture. Okay. The Eight of Cups. Yeah. Okay. From a shuffle deck. The Eight of Cups. He's uh, Fuller's winner two times. What? I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> what the hell just... That was actually crazy. <laughs> All right, Kaylee, rate it. Is it a fooler? Yes. yes. Creativity? Oh my gosh. Like, that was like a waterfall. <laughs>
Yeah. Entertainment. <laughs> Bonus points. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is amazing, especially for magicians. Uh, not gonna look. Just pick a card. Pick a card. Don't show it to anyone. Just look at it yourself and yeah. remember the card. Yeah. Remember it real well. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. And shuffle. Shuffle. I don't want to touch. <laughs> okay, those eyes are locked on the camera. They're locked. I'm not looking at anything. All right. And then now uh, you shuffled. And uh, you shuffled first, you picked a card, you were the only one who saw it, then yeah. you put it back and shuffled again. Yeah, it's impossible for me to find. Of yes. course, yeah. Oh my goodness. So, uh, now, let me do this. I think your card is red. Correct. I think it's a card. Correct. I think it's a picture card. Correct. Probably. Correct. It's 12th from the top of the day. I don't know about that. Yeah. Mom, you, yeah. you feel like I don't. I don't feel anything. <laughs> well, you tell me. I didn't even do anything with the card. You don't okay. want it. You know what? I'm gonna take it. Put it a little higher. Ten, eight, six, four, three, two, one. On top. Wait. No. You pick the card. Yeah. Shuffle. You pick the yeah, card. Yeah. Put it back. You shuffle again. I didn't move the card. Nothing. No, you didn't. I don't think you touched it. Take a heart? Yes. <laughs> oh. That was so good. God. Oh, <laughs> Just about an hour ago, we got out of the movie. And we're gonna tell you our initial thoughts straight after the show. So, what do you think? It was incredible. I'm genuinely blown the it's like away. The production quality of it is oh my god, it's amazing. It's, it's actually it's amazing. actually like top tier level yeah. movie making. So I was expecting real low budget or close to low budget, but a good story. Insane the quality of it. The whole time I was thinking. Could a lay person, could one of my best friends watch this and enjoy it as much as I have, even if they have no interest in magic, everyone can totally enjoy this film. It was one of the smartest screenplays yes. for a documentary I've ever seen, and this, the ending is... It's perfect. Actually... It's perfect. Perfect ending yeah. to it. Right now it's the frontier of what I think you're gonna glean about Erdnays and discovering who he is. But this is the thing, right? Every movie, people go to a premiere, they feel so proud that they got to go, so they just say good things about it. Um, so yeah. I think, like, it's one of those things, trust me, it's it's a top-tier documentary for me. Hands down, like, I... You were hyped on it coming out. I, but, yeah, I didn't but, think I would be either. I thought it was going to... But what I will say is that I think when people watch it themselves, you'll just be like, okay, yeah, like, that's not hype because we've seen it yeah. and we were there it's, it's yeah. what it, it is that good and that's why i took the view of a lay person a complete lay person in terms of would my friend who's interested in being the crime see, to see magic and interested in documentaries would they, would they actually be able to watch it and enjoy 100%, it 100 yes 100 anyone any person yeah i could show that to somebody who had no interest in magic yeah. and that would be a yes yeah thrilling gripping documentary 100% thought provoking and just smart very very smart yeah all right so we'll tell you we'll sleep on it we're drink i got my diet pepsi me too kaylee and laura have been drinking all night um so I mean, we'll get the sober thoughts from kaylee in the morning and i'll tell, tell you my thoughts again what about a good sleep good night, good night. We're just walking on the street and uh, we can't stop talking about the movie. No, nope. I still think it's incredible. It's blown yeah. my mind, actually blown my mind. It makes me want to, to read the book and to look into a lot more research around Erdnays and, mm. you know, all of that. I just love the texture of the film. Like, they really nailed the tone of what magic is to yeah. me. It, it wasn't, wasn't cheesy. No, yeah. it didn't have cheese. Mm. It wasn't gimmicky. It wasn't, you know, like, when it can be a bit, oh. So many things, when people try to cover magic in like documentaries or films and things, they often get the tone so wrong or they yeah. frame it in a way which is just for them. And I think often people make magic films and documentaries because they're more passionate about film and have an interest in magic where you could tell with hands he was passionate about yeah, the subject you could totally and tell, film. Yeah, 
it was amazing. It was incredible. Like the, it, the sequence of it, the way it's been put together, the way it's been filmed, the cinematography in it is The incredible. screenplay was out of this world. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely out of this world. And yeah, I just, we were walking down the street just now and I just said to Kaylee, like even today I'm still inspired after watching it. Yeah. And that doesn't happen to me very often. No. Um, normally you're hyped after the event just straight away and you say nice things. You know, that's just sort of what people do. But actually, the day after, it's like, it's I, I want to watch it again. In my mind. I will watch it again. I yeah. 100% will. And I'll probably notice more things. And mm -hmm. I, I want to watch it with more knowledge next time because I did watch it as a lay person this time. And I, I want to look into it myself and watch it with a bit more knowledge and, and just see what I make of it then. But I think I'm so, you can only I get better. I can't like, wait for people to see it. I know. And, and let us know what you think. It is insane. Insane. I'm so thankful that we got to do it as well. Yes, yes. Anyway, off to do some sightseeing. Bye.